What is going on guys? Kevin over at Leg Rose coming back to another video today. This one was from Instagram. This one was from eBay. As you can see, 325 for this one, 175 for this one. $500 altogether. There's some good stuff in here, mostly Star Wars, but there is some other stuff in here as well. Uh, stores.ebay.com slash legbros where you can find that stuff. Always join my link over there on Whatnot as well. If you've never used Whatnot before, you can get up to $200 of free credit and I also get a kickback as well. So I do appreciate that. It's a fun way to support the channel and check out a cool app where you can buy some stuff. Uh, I do I do plan eventually on going back uh, and doing some stuff there, but I've been trying to rebuild eBay uh, first. That's kind of been my, my number one priority. So uh, all the other links down below in the description as well for athletic greens, things like that. Anything that I use, I definitely don't advertise anything that I don't use myself. So just so you know, <laughs> let's take a look and see $325 was what this lot cost. Uh, this is one of those, oh man, I always forget their names, Nikto Guards? I think that's a Nikto Guard, and I'm pretty sure, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think Nikto is somewhat valuable. Hold on one sec, let me see. This is one of the ones I'm always, <laughs> I always have to look at, but I, since I remembered his name, uh, yeah, yeah, I sell, I'm selling him for 20 bucks. So uh, that will be our first thing of the day. There's gonna be a lot of them in this haul for sure. Uh, unfortunately, this guy, so this person was selling two different lots. The other lot was just like full of city, but did have this guy's head, but I did not want to pay what they wanted for it. So, uh, cause I just didn't want a ton of city, but this is the mouth of Sauron. And if I can get a head for him, which unfortunately, or a helmet anyway, uh, which is the most expensive piece, unfortunately, that is a super, super solid figure right there. Once it's complete, that one's not much, uh, that it's kind of like that stuff that was uh, that was in the other hall, and, and worse, like policemen and city and stuff like that. Uh, we have the black astromech right there. There is a Luminara Unduli, which is a fantastic figure right there too. Brown one's more valuable than the black one, but the black one is retro and cool for sure. We have Nebula here. Nebula was just selling out like crazy at 15 bucks in my store. Uh, so we're gonna put that one up there. <laughs> this guy got two guns, one pointed away and one pointed himself. I guess he's ready for any uh opportunity there <laughs> these are in fantastic condition man i'm so sad i tried to get the other things like just individually i was like i'll pay you good money for the other stuff but they didn't go for it they didn't want to break it up uh kashik scout of course going up the top there there is a pirates of the caribbean zombie right there just an imperial not much there death trooper and a uh tie pilot we have an orc these things man i tell you what like lord of the rings army builders whoo they are all so good. I will take all of those that I can for sure. That's a V-Wing pilot and a TIE pilot head. We have Nuke Gunray and an Unkar Thug to round out the very first bag. Not a bad start, right? Not a bad start. 375 is what we're trying to get back, though, so uh, it's going to take a little while. But as you can see, if you just noticed that, uh, this is going to help. <laughs> uh, nobody saw the cape. I'm guessing um, that was on the back because it was like this and he didn't have his jetpack on or anything like that. That's like all you saw. So I did notice the uh, the faint little like outline right there that was the cape and I was hoping it was in good condition, which it definitely, definitely is. That is pre-Vizsla right there. Oh my gosh, these guys are mint condition as well. Holy Toledo, that's awesome. Uh, pre Vizsla, obviously one of the best characters that you can find uh, in all of Lego Star Wars. There's a Sith Trooper right there. Another, uh, I believe these are the Hunter Orcs, I think is those ones. Uh, Ray's got a gold lightsaber, that's pretty cool. We do have a uh, Darth Vader. These one, this is just the standard Death Star version of Darth Vader. We'll put him up there, but he's really... He's about as minimum as you can get. Oh, okay, here we go. That, I believe, can go on... Does previously have a dark one? It definitely doesn't go on this Death Watch one. That They have the solid gray ones, or bluish gray, I should say. Uh, I believe this might go on him. I'm gonna tarnish that beautiful cape right there. Holy cow. It's so good. Uh, whoops. <laughs> he needs a head. He needs a head before his helmet. Uh, man, these are so good. Woo, yes. Uh, here is our friend Cad Bane. This is probably the least ver valuable version, I believe, of Cad Bane. The surprising thing is the new one with the tiny hat is actually holding its value quite well. I thought that would take a while to be valuable, but it's actually doing very well. Cad Bane is a solid ting, though, all around. Uh, we have our prototype Boba Fett, another $50 right there. As you can see, this is why I picked this lot up. Fantastic figures, some of which I don't usually get in the store very often, so... Another good way to uh, 
Diversify your, your inventory is a great way to bring people to your store. There's a reddish brown Chewbacca times two. Owen Lou looking for misprints really on those guys. We got Finn in his first order outfit. Here is our Clone Wars Obi. Man, these were fantastic. Like every single one of these is just mint clean. Love when it happens. <laughs> I absolutely love when that happens. There's a Leia from 7965. She's kind of like Darth Vader. She's like uh, kind of mid-value. <laughs> <laughs> he went Super Saiyan. Look at that guy. Holy Toledo. Went with the orange saber like uh, the people in Ahsoka have. Uh, anyways, that is old Ben, but uh, supercharged right there. We have our original Tatooine Luke right there with the old Luke face. Here is our Christmas Yoda. And this one is a great one I don't get very often. That is Chief Tarful. Uh, the king of the Wookiees, or leader of the Wookiees, I should say. We have our Luke with metal. They did redo that guy just recently, so we'll see what happens to him uh, in terms of value. And this is Obi-Wan in disguise as Reiko Hardeen. I don't think he wears a helmet. I don't think. Uh, fantastic figure right there, though. Let's take a look. We're continuing on the chase for more good stuff. Here is the rest of those Kashyyyk. Like I said, every one of these looks like it is brand spanking new. It feel, The plastic feels brand new. You guys know what I'm talking about if you've dealt with Lego enough. <laughs> you can just feel like, oh, this is going to crack if I try to replace anything on it. Uh, this, these, these look great. This one does not look great. <laughs> but that's of all the things, I would definitely rather have the Snow Trooper torso uh, be the one that's cracked. Look at this guy. This guy's ready for everything. Uh, ATST pilot. Oh yeah, yeah. We might as well just throw a Captain Rex with a ho a uh, solid head, meaning that is a actually Phase Two Rex head on a Phase One Rex. So uh, that mistake is good for me. <laughs> that head is more valuable than the other one. Uh, I'm gonna take that off just so I remember that because I have plenty of the Phase One heads. Uh, phase two heads are obviously harder to find. We have the clone captain worth about $75 here as well, if he's not cracked, and he is not. Gosh, these are so good. Oh, yes. <laughs> it always feels good. We have Commander Gree in his phase two uh, uniform here with the gray stripe. There is a brown stripe and a gray stripe version of that guy, both about the same in value. I haven't really found a difference in value there. Uh, this one is the wrong helmet on here, but we do see the helmet actually is on this guy. This is our uh, gunship pilot, 75021, uh, which is a great pig as well. There is a version of this that comes with printed legs as well. Uh, in terms of value, they're both about the same. Even though the printed legs should make it more valuable, uh, it's not a huge difference. There's another snow trooper. It looks like their snow troopers were the worst, the worst for wear. A little yellowing on that one. Uh, no problem, though. Here is a... Oh, this this is actually is our clone trooper uh, pilot, or clone pilot, I should say. Uh, let's see. I don't see a clone head we could use, unfortunately. Now, yeah, that's a pilot. We have two of our Republic troopers. This guy with his giant gun that came from... Well, that's gone. <laughs> I found it. I found it. Uh, do I remember where it goes though we're just gonna put it on here for now let's put it on there for now republic troopers uh well we'll just do this there we go clone pilot the other version of a clone pilot and we are almost done with the haul but we're not done can you believe it ridiculous how much was in here i bought it so fast <laughs> i bought it so fast we have our mechanical legs mall where his hips are basically just as valuable as the whole figure kind of funny just the hips. It's the only thing people need. And of course, he also comes with two Super Mandalorians, one with highbrow and one with the other one. The difference in this one that you're looking for is that it is a solid head, kind of like that Captain Rex we just saw, uh, has the solid stud underneath uh, versus having the holes, which he doesn't either, but that's Pre Vizsla's head as well. So the highbrow version is slightly more valuable. This actually is somewhat of a rare head as well, because uh, it is different. A lot of people don't know that that's different. The print looks nearly identical, uh, or is identical, I'm not 100% sure there, but uh, there is a slight difference to it. This is, of course, our uh, blaster arm battle droid, to be different from that battle droid. These guys are quite a bit more valuable. Uh, we're going to put him in the ting pile now, because that's where he belongs. And we have two of the red arm imperial guards from the new final battle. Uh, well, actually, the old final battle. They redid it again, which was kind of weird. <laughs> it's weird. It's weird when they redo a set that wasn't that old. It's kind of... I don't know what goes behind those decisions. Anyways, uh, we have a another haul for you today. 
and this one was 175. Uh, let's see. Man, I should I didn't know that was gonna take 10 minutes to go through that. <laughs> I probably should have just left that there. This was from an Instagram contact. Shout out David. Thank you very much, my friend, for thinking about me. If you guys haven't uh kind of contacted me on Instagram, you can if you have a collection to sell, just you know, email me or um, direct message me pictures and a price that you're looking for. That always makes it a lot quicker. If you ask me to price it out, it's always a little bit harder because it takes a little bit longer to actually like, you know, count it all out and everything. If you have a price in mind, that always helps uh, if you contact me directly. But yeah, Instagram, leg bros with a zero instead of an O uh, is where you can find me there. First off, we do have Commander Cody with all his armor. Fantastic fig right there. We have White Robes Ray, not super good. This guy's about 10 bucks as well. Not bad there. Just a regular Han Solo. Nothing much to be said about that one. This one is even peel. Of course, his torso is always cracked. This one looks good. So that is fantastic. We have a Darth Vader. This is definitely a Death Star one as well, just like that one is. Let's see about this one. Ooh, that's an older one. So that's going to go up there as well, for sure. A little bit more. <laughs> the older ones are a little bit more worth than the Death Star ones, but we'll still put the Death, Death Star ones up there because, I mean, it's Darth Vader, right? <laughs> one of the coolest characters, uh, for sure. This one is fantastic. Uh, wrong arms or damaged arms. I'm not 100% sure on there. I do actually, I just needed the glow-in-the-dark head, which unfortunately this is just a blue head. So it looks like I need two glow-in-the-dark heads now. <laughs> that is, um, oh man, what is her name? I, I kept trying to say ultraviolet, but it is, uh, I'll think of it. I'll think of it here. Fantastic fig right there, though. Uh, we have four of these metal Lukes. So obviously, if you're looking for one of those, those are going to be up here soon. A lot of lightsabers that came with all this, which is awesome, too. Um, there's like five in the hall right there. We have our Lando Calrissian. Uh, here is, I believe, one of the newer Vaders, but has... That's actually the new Vader head. Um, this is a new Vader torso, I should say. Old Vader head. This is supposed to be a phase two. So we'll put that, well, let's put it right there because we have to fix it. We have our General Grievous, of course, in his white form. And we had a whole bunch of parts and pieces to go with more General Grievouses. This is like General Grievous uh, incarnate mutated, like... <laughs> but look at all these General Grievous pieces I'll be able to use, all of which are fantastic. We have our Obi-Wan Kenobi with printed legs. Obi's... Obi's kind of uh, like 10 bucks, no matter what, you know, five to 10 bucks. Like these kind of versions are like five. Uh, we also have Diva here, which is a great one from Overwatch. One of the ones that you want from Overwatch anyways. Satil Shand, that is a fantastic one as well. We have Even Peel, which is pro, sorry, not Even Peel. Sa uh, Sase Teen, Sase Tin, uh, Sase Tin. Nobody knows how to say his name. Uh, Jedi, he's about 10 bucks as well. Another Commander Cody with full regalia right there. That's awesome. Speaking of Reinhardt and valuable um, Overwatch figs, there's a Reinhardt helmet, which is awesome. We also have Reaper, which is a fan favorite, but I don't know the value. We'll put that kind of in the middle. Uh, we have a Boba Fett with his balaclava face and another Evan Peel. Evan Peel, something like that. Uh, and like I said, dark brown torso is scary. Uh, but those guys are fantastic as well. One of the newer versions of Han Solo in Carbonite right there. And we have Ray and another of those. He did say that he would send some extra parts and pieces that would be worth it as well. Uh, and I don't know what these ones are. These were not part of what I found uh, or saw. So let's take a look and see. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he said, he said I think you're going to like them. Yes, please. Two Embo helmets, which I will make right away. I have plenty of Embos. Uh, I do need to replace their arms, I think, but Embo helmets for sure are amazing. And some extra horns for one Darth Maul and two Savage Oppresses. All awesome. This is Blind Kanan Jarrus's head. Thank you very much. Another Commander Cody helmet in beautiful condition. We have Eth Koth's headpiece, a Inquisitor helmet, and a Bausch Leia helmet. Oh my gosh. Thank you very much, David. I appreciate it, my friend. What a fantastic haul. <laughs> That's all I can say. Two hauls, 500 bucks. Well worth it. We will do just fine. Really trying to remember her name now. <laughs> it's like, it's an ultra agent and it's one of the ones I just got recently. Oh man, that's gonna drive me crazy. Let me just see... 
if I can find it from here. Do I have one post? I probably don't even have one posted either. Uh, what is the name? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's funny when you have so many names in your vocabulary, you just kind of start going through them all. So I was like, you know, ultraviolet. I was like Proxima Midnight. <laughs> None of them are right. And I know they're not right, but my brain just keeps like going back to it. You know how that goes? It's kind of like when you're playing Pictionary and you just think that you're right. You say the same thing over and over again, even though you were wrong the first time. Antimatter, that's what it is. I had to look it up. Antimatter is the one that we're looking for right here. Fantastic pieces uh, that go with that as well. Really, really happy about all of this. To be honest, very, very excited. Comment below what your favorite one is. I'm curious to see that. Uh, I, of course, still read all of the comments and everything like that. Uh, and uh, you know what? I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.